Consider the expression negative 6 times the quantity 5 plus a negative 2. In part A, let's evaluate it first by working within the brackets. So to work inside the brackets, let's add 5 plus negative 2, which gives 3. And negative 6 times 3 is a negative 18. In part B, evaluate it by using the distributive property. So here, instead of performing what's in the brackets first, we're going to distribute this negative 6 to each term through multiplication. Negative 6 times 5 is a negative 30. And negative 6 times a negative 2 gives a positive 12. Now, adding these terms gives negative 18. Lastly, in Part C, why must the answers in Parts A and B be the same? Well, that's because for all real numbers, the distributive property will yield the same result as the order of operations does.